What is up, everybody? How's it going? It is Matt, and it is finally, finally Fiendish Friday. I hope all y'all are having a fantastic morning, evening, dawn, day, or dusk, all that jazz. I hope you're having a great week. It's finally that time, TGIF. Yes! Uh, um, are you guys hopefully doing something fun this weekend? Uh, I'm not sure what I'm doing yet. It's still pretty early for me to to really gauge that so I can't really say anything fun or 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 crazy or anything like that watch a couple of movies I do I will do that uh, uh, hopefully some something something good fingers crossed fingers crossed I just placed an order for MV on that sweet midnight uh, uh, movie sale that uh, uh, MVD is doing they've been doing sales left and right uh, last time was with the Arrow stuff, and then this time it's a bunch of random stuff, which there was amazing stuff. There was a Abominable for like seven ninety nine. I uh, couldn't pass that up. There was some other ones in there that were just just amazing titles that I couldn't pass up. Uh, I got Fangboner. Um, I I what is it? I spit on your corpse. I piss on your grave. I think is one of them that I got. It's like what. I couldn't pass that up with a title like that. That just sounds amazing. And it's I think it's an Eric Stanzi film on top of it, uh, which I like Scrapbook. Uh, I think it's really good. Um, I still need to watch Ice from the Sun. I do have that one. Uh, it's, it's over there in the to-do stack. Um, hopefully uh, it doesn't sit in there for too long because it's one that I, I've been curious about. Now, I'm sure you guys are all curious about today's film. What is it all about? All that fun jazz. And this one was from 1980, the year I was born. So 40 years ago, this this masterpiece came out. And holy crap, am I like, kicking myself for not jumping on, on this train a lot sooner? Because this one is awesome. Like, nothing this... Like, there was some amazing... This week was solid, I thought. Uh... I had some good films this week. There was nothing that left me um, scratching my head, going, "What the fuck did I just watch?" Um, I didn't have any any uh, um, uh, bad films at all in general. Um, I it was a solid week, and to end it with this film is just it's epic. This is like one of the most solid action packed. Uh, stories that if, on a fil on film that's been done for for a while, at least as far as vigilante movies, this is one of my favorites. Now, uh, I didn't get to see it until uh, last week. It was like last Thursday, I believe, or last Wednesday, something like that. And I just rewatched it this morning because that's how much I really dig this movie. And I hope each and every one of you check this out because I think you guys will like it as well. Uh, this cut that I have here is not rated, running at an hour and 42 minutes. Um, I don't know if, because I think 88 Films has a release of this one. I don't know if that one's cut or anything. Uh, I hope not, because that would be quite the... Uh, um, the uh, uh, disappointment when when you have cut cut uh, uh, films like that, especially when it's just little minor stuff that that easily could be overlooked. I don't know some of the some of the gore effects could could always always be push the boundaries could be always pushed a little farther and farther and farther every time. That's and this one it does push the boundaries. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I can see why it's not rated. Um, I think it probably would have been a, a R rating maybe back in the day. Um, this is a a, a a canon film, you know, good old uh, Yoram Golan, 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 and then uh, Menahem. Uh, uh, no, Menahem Golan and Yoran Golbus or something like that. Can the guys that were owned and owned and ran Canon, one of the greatest uh, uh, studios that existed uh, in its time. I'm not gonna lie, I freaking love and adore Canon films. They are like the perfect. Be a mixture of joy that like. 
Oh, they did some amazing stuff. They did Tar Texas Chainsaw Massacre Part 2 is one of my favorites that they that they did. And this one here is quickly uh, uh, up there as one of my faves as well. <coughs> mm, excuse me. And this one stars Christopher George, who is always fun. I, I have always been a huge, huge fan of Christopher George. Uh, all the way from, uh, let's see, he's in Pieces, Day of the Animals. Uh, um, what else? Uh, Enter the Ninja. He has the best death on, that there ex that exists. No, not exists, but it is one of the best death scenes. The way he goes down and he just as he falls over. Oh my Christ! I laugh every time so hard at that, and it just it just slays me. It's it's beautiful. Um, uh, and then we got Samantha Egger and Robert Ginty who. Who is um, uh, known for what is it? Warriors of the not Warriors of the Wasteland. Uh, oh shoot! It's a post-apocalyptic film where he's a writer, where he ri he rides a motorcycle, and that's his whole shtick. And the motorcycle talks. And it's kind of like a uh, a Knight Rider ripoff, but it's a motorcycle and one of those kind of ordeals. It's uh. Very um, f interesting, funny movie because Mystery Science Theater 3000, they did riff it pretty hard. And, and I'm not going to lie, that's one of the first time I, the first few times that was the only way I've seen that movie. But I have seen it since uh, without the uh, riffing. And holy crap, what a what a mess. Um, and, well, Robert Ginty, and this is directed by Jiminy Glickenhaas, and this is uh, The Exterminator, blah, 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 and this is the, uh, Synapse Films Blu-ray DVD combo release, which, um, here stateside, I think that's the, the best way to go to get it, I don't, I think you can get an old DVD, maybe, um, for sure, you could probably get an old VHS if you're old school like that. Um, this would be a cool one to um, actually have sitting on the on the VHS wall, just chilling there. I'm not gonna lie, this is an awesome little ditty. Um, this is sweet. Um, let's open her up. Uh, it's a like I said, blue Blu-ray DVD. Um, excuse me, no reversible cover artwork, but you do get this cool car on flames blown up blown all the shit looking cool like that um love it love it love it um and let me show you what we got here for the special features there you go guys that's that's it and this is abc i just see this it's uh abc uh unlocked so it's region free kids so do keep that in mind when you if you're if you do want to pick this up uh i think this ran about i can't remember i think i got it for like 17 or something like that uh and then shipping on it uh you know it was like 21 dollars i think in grand total which yeah, it's a little bit to be spent dropping on one title sometimes, um, especially if it's a blind buy, because this was 100% blind, blind buy for me. And this is the unrated director's cut, by the way. I should, uh, uh, I will change that on my uh, uh, thing I typed out, um, because I missed that. I, I can't believe I did. Whoop. Any hoosers. Um, but yeah, this was 100% blind buy for me, and... Boy, this was one of the best blind buys I've had in a long, long time. Um, like, gosh, I'm trying to think of some other great blind buys. Uh, I really liked Song of Solomon. Um, that was a great blind buy. Humongous was an old one that I remember was a great blind buy. Uh, uh, Butcher Baker Nightmare Maker. Oh, watch out. that movie is so cool. That's one that everybody should check out. Um, I'm talking enough about everything else. Let's talk about the movie itself. Uh, it's basically about, you open up with this really epic, uh, Vietnam flashback sequence where, 
uh, both Robert Ginty and um, I forget the other character's name. Um, he's great. I know him from uh, um, the Amer first American Ninja film. I believe he was in that, which is always that's that's one that's close to my heart. I love the American Ninja series. Um, not so much the last two, but the first three. I because I think there's five in total if memory serves me. I can't I can't remember right off the top of my head. Uh, the, you know the 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 movie knowledge it, it uh, gets spotty sometimes when it when it comes to things like that, <laughs> um, especially when it's not really um, something that would be on my normal radar. But that's one that I grew up with as a child that I always will love. Um, but you open up with this amazing, amazing like sequence, uh, Vietnam sequence, and uh, Robert Ginty and his his buddy, his partner, um, not partner like sexual partner, but his buddy, um, <laughs> his homeboy, uh, his 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 best friend. They uh, um, he is. They are both captured, and there's this really. Sweet Sweet, sweet scene that involves a machete in somebody's head. Uh, it's awesome, and they drop some serious, serious loot to do this uh, opening sequence. It was like, uh, uh, what was it, uh, four hundred thousand, something like that. It was, yeah, like four hundred thousand is. I think that's what I wrote down in the thing. Um, it, it was a extremely phenomenally high high uh, uh amount for a uh, um a film uh, for one sequence but that sequence just was oh it was on fire it was awesome i can't say say anything bad about it uh they get back into the state side his friend and him they work at like like a loading dock uh they get hassled by these young thugs called the ghouls the ghouls are are you know your typical street punk gang that that in every vigilante film you get um uh first one i think of is vigilante with the uh, william lustig film or um uh, uh uh shoot death wish is another one of those like i think it was number three that had that really weird roving street gang or uh cobra kind of had a vigilante feel as well uh rolling thunder is a great vigilante film that's one that um i highly highly suggest to people is rolling thunder that one's so cool um gets gets pretty gnarly in places but it not as not as over the edge as this one does um but uh they uh his friend is is badly badly injured by these these ghouls um Robert Ginty decides he's going to get revenge and that's exactly what he does he goes one by one through the ghouls and then after that he decides you know what I'm I'm sick of the everything I'm tired of these criminals these these cretins, these thugs, these these terrible people, just getting away with everything, and and basically uh, uh, right there in, in in broad daylight, and nobody doing anything. The police, nobody. So he eventually he takes it into his own hands. Like he goes after these pedophiles. Um, uh, he goes after this mobster. That oh my god, there's a sweet scene that involves a. Uh, uh, a meat grinder <laughs> like oh my god it was it was awesome um i i don't want to give away anything else as far as what goes on in the film because there's so much cool things going i don't want you to um uh expect them to happen i don't want you going oh i know this is gonna happen i know this is gonna happen because i don't like to give spoilers spoilers ruin films um i try to give you an opinion without giving a, any spoilers, so do keep that in mind. Um, do also like, share, and subscribe. I always like to throw that in there. Um, anyways, uh, on a technical side, this thing is probably like a three. It's it's not a masterpiece. It is polished. Uh, the acting is it's okay. You know, it works for it. It's not bad. It's not great. It's it's Robert Kinty. <laughs> He's, 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 you know, paper chase. <laughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. <clears throat> but I would, uh, 
say three out of five on, on the technical side. <clears throat> Ooh, have another cigarette, Matthew. Anyways, anyways, Matthew Brown, you silly goose. Uh, as far as entertainment goes, this thing is a solid five on the Richter scale. Five out of five. I cannot... Oh, there! This thing is so sweet and badass, and 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 should be seen by you people. Oh, you'll love it! You'll love it. If you don't, I will be highly, highly surprised. Uh, it definitely fits the bill. I'm gonna put that bad boy down. So that's got an eight out of ten. I am very happy with the score on that one. For it could even. Uh, an eight, nine ish. It could, depending on who you're watching it with, it could really add to the score and make it a lot more fun. All right, guys. I love your faces. I hope each and every one of you have a beautiful weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Uh, I'm not a hundred percent what I got going on next week for as far as review goes. Reviews go for you guys, but I will figure out something. Uh, it, it just depends on on what's going on for the week. Uh, what am I feeling? What is my mood for for as far as film goes? All right, guys. Peace as always.